And have you ever been to a spookorama? We'll take you to one coming up. Now, some kids in St. Charles are getting ready for Halloween, but maybe not getting ready in the way you might think. They're getting dressed up, but they're actually getting dressed up for a play, not for trick-or-treating. And it is rehearsal time for a very special Halloween drama this morning. Susan Thomas is live in St. Charles with more. Sue. Oh, I tell you what, Ann, this is going to be really cool. Now, this is not just any drama. I'm here with, uh, with Kay, and she's actually the, the director of this event. What is this thing called? Uh, so every year we do an annual play that's called Spookorama. Yeah. And then we do a specific play, and this is Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. Well, it's kind of Phantom of the Opry. Opry, yeah. All right, we're going to give you a little sample of, of what's going to happen to see this amazing play. It's going to be cool. So, Kay, how many kids are in this play? Uh, about 30. About 30? And did they have to try out? I mean, is it hard to get in? It is. There's a, usually about 100 kids that audition wow. in the fall. Yeah. We do. We, uh, we audition for two plays, the Halloween and the Christmas at the same time. Oh, do and you I really? cast as many kids as I can, you know. And where do the kids come from? Are they just from all over the area? All over. Wow. All over. Some kids, uh, I think the father's just saying... We have this time. She's from Chesterfield. A lot of people come across the river. Now, what age kids are we going to see throughout this play? Uh, we have as young as eight. I don't know if I got eight year olds in this play, but the program is eight to 18. Wow. So this actually all goes on here at the college, and the show itself isn't actually till next weekend, but what are we seeing today? Just a dress rehearsal? Yes. Um, Yes, it is, and they're, we're getting our tech right now. We I haven't got you. everything completely sorted out yet, so... That's well, i got to tell you, if you got a smoke machine, you're doing well. Yeah. And we're going to give you some idea of when this actually will go on. It is next weekend, and tickets are, are $5, and they are also $4. And we're going to be seeing this play throughout the morning here, and we're going to see more stuff, because you've got more pretty amazing stuff with the Phantom, don't you? Yes, we do. We have some nifty tech stuff. Well, it's all <laughs> coming up, and uh, Ray and Ann, we'll, we'll show you more of this play. And the kids who have worked so hard on it, and we're going to be doing that just about 30 minutes and back to you yeah okay phantom of the opry opry okay yeah listen no mini pearl i checked <laughs> Whew. thank you sue very much change gears just a bit here a couple questions for you number one have you ever been to a spook a drama no number two do you even know what a spook a drama is no but i guess i'm gonna find out yes, like are. right now because some kids in st charles are putting on a halloween play and it is called phantom of the opry in fact, they are in the middle of a dress rehearsal. Sue Thomas is in the thick of it right now with the latest. Sue, what's up? Oh, and this, I gotta tell you, this play really is fun. And it is Phantom of the Opry, so it's a little bit different. But what we're doing is, we're letting them kind of have a dress rehearsal today because it is a, is a Halloween, you know, show. But we kind of keep interrupting them and kind of moving them on to the cool parts. And uh, we're here with Kay, who's uh, who the director of this event. Tell me how this event is any different from Phantom of the Opera. Okay, it's really a spoof on Phantom of the Opera, and we have uh, this, a lot of the same character names, like Christine is the lead, as she is in Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> we have uh, a chandelier falling, which is the, Whoa. you know, the main event of Phantom of the Opera. I mean, we pretend it's falling, and some people, cast members in the audience, get hurt by the debris, and wow. they have to be carried out on a stretcher. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, now, see, look at how cool this is. How long do you guys work on stuff like this? We have seven weeks to put on a straight play, uh, six to seven weeks, which is not much time, and uh, if we do a musical, it's uh, 11 to 12 weeks. Wow. I tell you what, it's smelling like a... <laughs> art class in here with the wood burning but uh, this show will actually go on and uh, next weekend is that right yes yes and uh, how many shows do you do uh, three performances Friday night Saturday night and Sunday matinee and these kids have been working on this for quite some time I mean how long have you been rehearsing for this uh, six to seven weeks 
Whew. You guys have got to come out and see this play. It's going to be really fabulous. You see here, this is all part of the uh, St. Charles Community College Young People's Theater. And they put on an amazing show. If the dress rehearsal is any indication, this show is really, it's going to be quite yeah. good. You it's ought to be fun. proud of yourself. It's fun. It's well, next time what we're going to do is talk to uh, maybe one of the stars of the show coming up, finding out how much work it is. And I mean, look, these costumes are even very impressive here. Do you sew? No. <laughs> <laughs> <Ray and Ed>. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. All right. Thank you, Susan Thomas. You've seen Phantom of the Opera. I have, right? Yeah. It was good. It was a long time ago. It was ago a long time ago. I, saw it. I think maybe. Well, this is nothing <laughs> like it. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's kind of like it, I guess. Phantom of the Opera is a well known musical, but have you ever seen Phantom of the Opry? That one is a fun Halloween spoof of Andrew Lloyd Webber's classic, and it's going to be running at St. Charles Community College next week and actually being performed by kids. Mm. Susan Thomas is live at a dress rehearsal with more. Sue. I got to tell you, this has been fun here today. This whole Phantom of the Opry thing, it's all kids putting it on, and they're doing it pretty much for Halloween. And we're actually in the middle of this dress rehearsal right now. And so you can see, we've got action going on in the background, and at some point, somebody's going to croak here. They promised us someone's going to die. So that's what we're waiting for. I think it's going to be the woman in the red dress. Anyway, this is St. Charles Community College Young People's Theater, and they are presenting this uh, Phantom of the Opry, which is just a spoof on Andrew Lloyd Webber, <laughs> which, believe me, uh, needs to be done. And it's going to be actually next weekend, and you can come out and see it. In fact, they've got really great kids. They've worked hard for this. <laughs> in fact, we, this woman has had to learn how to die. <laughs> which apparently is not an easy process. I gotta tell you, it does look painful. In fact, you never know. People just, especially these Halloween shows, stuff goes on you wouldn't believe. My goodness, my child. You could just be sitting here in the audience and then something that'll just croak right on top of you. I'm telling you, live theater, who knew? Hey, let me ask you a question. Okay. Yeah. How's it feel to be in this play? Is it fun to do this sort of stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Is it really? It's a lot of fun. Now, how long have you guys worked on this project? Oh, we've been working on this for about a month, two months. Really? And yeah. you put a lot of effort into it, don't yeah. you? Now, is this something you guys do? It's a troupe that you've done more than just one thing, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, I've been in it for about seven years. And we do a Halloween play, a Christmas play, and a spring play. Oh, I gotcha. And is this one good and Halloween-y? Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny, too. Like, it's not just scary. Yeah, it is. It is. So what would you say? You would bring uh, anybody to it? Families? Who, who comes usually? Yeah. We usually have a lot of little kids and Girl yeah. Scouts, but it's good for people of all ages. Little kids and Girl Scouts. Not a bad audience. Now, of course, while you go through all this stuff, we've got these guys in the background. How many people are in it? In this play? Yeah. I don't know, I'd say 30, 20, yeah. something like that. What's the best part of it for you just uh, being in it? Oh, I love dying. That's my <laughs> favorite part. Can I compliment you on your dying? How long have you worked on your technique, Becca? Since the play started. <laughs> I've been working on You've it. You've been doing it at home, too? Just uh -huh. dying randomly on the different <laughs> furniture? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Well, this is all part of the fun, and, and we're going to show you uh, the hours and when you can come by and actually show this. It's actually going to be next weekend. It's Phantom of the Opry, a Halloween spooka drama. And it's 7 o'clock on October 26th and 27th, and you do a, a matinee, it looks like, as well, huh? Uh -huh. So y you memorize all these lines. How do you do it? Oh, uh, it's memorization. Yeah? You yeah. just do it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the youth. The kids, I'm telling you, Ray. So come on out and see it. It should be a good time. And it's perfect for Halloween. And it's not too scary so the kids can handle it and the Girl Scouts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Acting. Okay. <laughs> I guess, you know, dying on stage is good for an actor only if it's part of the play, I guess, right? Yeah, that's a good point there. Yeah. Yeah, real good point. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. <laughs> yes.
sound like myself. Don't be with that you. It was. Why were you screaming like that? It's the only way I know how to scream. I mean, why were you screaming? Something I saw in the shadow. A rat? It was a rat. It was a two-legged rat with a hat and a cape and a mask. You've been out in the sun again? No. Get on with your work. Clean the dressing room, mop the stage, wash the windows, sweep the lobby, and water the rubber plant. My name's Gubby Gopher. It ain't Cinderella. And I know what I saw. Something in the shadows you said. Remember Gumby's shadows play tricks. So do phantoms. You're lucky to be getting rid of this old Aubrey house, Miss Hotchkiss. I don't know what the new owner will say when she finds out it's haunted. Shh. Ghosts should be talked about. Or seen. But I seen him. It was your imagination, I tell you. No, it weren't. The phantom is only a ghost story. Besides, all theaters have ghosts. I'm peeking around the corner, and the phantom's talking to himself. And he's saying, beware. Beware? Beware. Phantom of the Opera House. Then he goes like this. <laughs> no, I think it was more like this. Whoa. He goes like what? Like this. Whoa! You mean like this? Whoa! You got it. Don't be, do you enjoy working at the Opry House? What's to enjoy? I got to eat, don't I? In that case, I advise you not to talk about the Phantom. But he's scaring me. My kneecaps dropped three inches. If the new owner found out about our friend, he's no friend of mine. The cell would go through. I had to sell. I've had one disaster season after another. It's either sell or sink. If the sale goes through, will I get my bad wages? Yes, I owe you for a full year. Three dollars is three dollars. All right, my lips are sealed. Until the sale, I won't say one more word about him. Him? The Phantom! I forgot. Wishful thinking on my part. You feel Miss Hotchkiss? Quick, it's Louisa Pampermouse. Boy, she got a surprise coming. Out, out! I'm going, I'm going. Remember your promise. Remember, you owe me three greenbacks. Miss Hotchkiss? You are. Do the papers. I think you find things in order. I'm selling you everything. Lock, stock, and barrel. But I'm not interested in lock, stocks, or barrels. I'm interested in this Gun Creek Alfre house. This is a wise decision you're making, Minerva. If you don't mind me saying it, you've got no head for show business. Skunk Creek wouldn't know a bear tone from a barracuda. Speaking of barracudas, I've hired one. I don't follow. I've hired Carlotta Barracuda to open the new season. The Carlotta? Barracuda? The same. She'll cost a fortune. What do you care? I'm paying for it. This Aubrey house will be the big attraction to open the new season. And that attraction is La Barracuda. These seem to be in order. Let me have your pen. We have to wait for the sheriff's deputy. The sheriff's deputy? Junior Hamster. Junior Hamster? My fan I put here. You in there, Ms. Hotchkiss? That's him now. Yes, Junior. He's not only the sheriff's deputy, he's the town notary. Everyone says he could be governor one day. Oh, can we get this over with? My performer will be arriving shortly. We open tonight. So soon? I move fast. Right on time, Junior. And I brought my stamps. Stamps? Mm-hmm. We're not interested in a stamp collection. Stamp from China, stamp from Mexico, stamp from England. How juvenile. Not postage stamps. Notary stamps. Oh. <laughs> Junior, this is Louisa Pampermount. She's the new owner of Sun Creek Opry House. Or we'll be as soon as we both sign. Well, how do, ma'am? How do and howdy. Can we get on with it? I'm pressed for time. We'll need a witness. I'll fetch Guppy. She's always witnessing things. Shucks. Ain't no need for Guppy Gopher. I invited Mr. Acid Tongue. He said he'd be glad to witness the transaction. How like him? The worm, the beast, the cat? A friend of yours? Silky Acid Tongue is no friend of mine. If he resigned from the human race, no one would notice. He's a music critic here in Skunk Creek. Skunk is right, because of him, I've never found an audience. When I presented my last opera, he said there's something wrong with the seat. Oh, what was wrong with the seat? He said they faced the stage. Oh, well, I know how to handle critics. You don't know acetone. Remember what he said when you presented, Carmen? I'm not likely to forget. What did he say? Stop the music. Remember what he said when you presented Madame Butterfly? Well, what did he say? He said Madame Butterfly should have stayed a caterpillar. Ah, oh, silky acetone. At your service. Corinton, this is your out of trial. You misjudge me, Miss Hoskins. You never gave me a break. 
That's not true. I bumped into you on the boardwalk one time. You lost your balance and broke your leg. Oh, horrible. A little stab of humor. <laughs> no wonder opera singers call you the smiling cobra. This is Louisa Pampermouse from California. She's the buyer. Oh, I just love it when he slobbers over a female's knuckles. It's so refined. <laughs> the buyer is here, the notary, and the witness. Let's get it over with. I'll take charge. Yes. Aha! Hmm. Good. Good. <clears> hmm. <throat> I can read, you know. That must come in handy. Yes. Now. You sign here, Miss Hotchkiss. You here, Miss Pampermouse. And you here, Mr. Acid Tongue. Right. Now you hear Miss Hotchkiss. You hear Miss Pampermouse. And you hear Mr. Acid Tongue. Are we finished? Yeah. Oh. I'm getting Ryan's cramp. It's like signing autographs, isn't it? Thanks to you, I wouldn't know. We're almost done. Just a few more signatures, and the Skunk Creek Opry House will belong to you, Miss Pamper Mouse. Now you sign here, Miss Hodgkiss. Uh, you here, Miss Pamper Mouse. And you here, Mr. Acid Tone. Now you sign here, Miss Hodgkiss. Uh, uh, yeah. Miss Pamper Mouse. Uh, and you here, Mr. Acid Tone. Well, I think now it's you mine. Sign here, Mr. You sign here, Miss Hodgkiss. It's mine, sir. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Now you sign here, Miss Hodgkiss. You sign here, Miss Pampermouse. And you hear Mr. Acid Tongue. You imbecile. All done. <laughs> Copies for you, Miss Hotchkiss. Copies for you, Miss Pamper Mouse. And I get to keep copies for the municipal files of Skunk Creek. So I'm going to leave her with him in town, and you don't need it. There'll be a speed of the at the box office. How kind. After telling you, you never looked better. I leave the Opry House in a high note. Well then, I reckon my work is done for the day. You should carry a license for those stamps. They're lethal weapons. I admit, I get carried away sometimes. Comes with the territory. Try the chair, Miss Pamper Mouse. Get the feel of being the new owner. Thank you, Deputy. Call me Junior. Everybody does. Everybody does what? Calls me Junior. Oh. Wasn't that a stimulating conversation? Here. I hope the phantom likes having you here. Five minutes! You? That's your stage manager. Chester Broomhandle. Mm -hmm. When I call five minutes the curtain, I mean the curtain will rise promptly in ten minutes. Oh. No matter what. Uh. Reckon I'll mosey on over to the office and file these important papers. Please do. And get rid of those stamps. Listen, I could be governor one day. One day is quite enough. 
Do you have insurance? I may have to sue for damages. My hand could be permanently incapacitated. After all, I play piano like Mozart. Oh, with brilliance? No, with both hands. Oh. Five minutes. Uh, you spoke of a phantom. Everybody knows about the phantom. I don't. A local legend. It's not legend. It's true. Truth? I have only one thing to say to that. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, that's three things. <laughs> In that case, ha. Oh. Go on, laugh. But I've seen the Phantom. I've heard his ghostly music. A ghost in the Opry House attracts tourists. It's local color, good for business. The Phantom didn't help business much. Phantom or no Phantom, I intend to turn this Opry House into a profitable venture. I hope it won't be Aida. That takes place in Egypt. I know, I know. All we got is one moth eating camel, and he's so old, he thinks this place is Noah's Ark. <clears throat> can you sing fast? Oh, I can sing fast or slow. That's not the point. Opera's out, and vaudeville is in. <laughs> vaudeville? You jest. Lady, opera is out and vaudeville is in. Five minutes! Vaudeville in the Opry House? That's outrageous. I told you before, I intend to turn a profit. You can't make a dime pushing opera. I've hired the best talent in three states to entertain Skunk Creek. What have you got? I've got Jojo the Three-Legged Boy. He calls himself the Human Tripod. But the opera! Jojo. Dressing room 11. I've hired Mademoiselle Rosa. She weighs 755 pounds. She's a ballerina. Oh. <laughs> Let me think. Mademoiselle Rosa. I think she'd better dress in the cellar. Otherwise, she'll crash right through the dressing room floor. Oh. The station order, though, it's reinforced. Good. I've hired the Elastic Skin Man! Elastic Skin Man? If I stretch it, he can chair number 11. I'm paying good money, Senorita Mendez. Don't tell me. Let me guess she roller skates on a high wire. Don't be ridiculous. She walks up and down stairs on her head. She gives the audience a headache. Senor Senorita Mendez. Dressing room 10. <laughs> Nothing to fret about. It's probably the cleaning woman. Probably seen another rat. She can't abide rats. Rat. But I'd better go check. Other than that, get a cat. What about oh. Puccini and Verdi and Wagner? If they want to see the show, they'll have to buy a ticket. That goes for you too, Slimy. That's silky. My dear Ms. Panamas, are you to inform me that you have abandoned a season of operatic fair and plan instead to present a circus sideshow? With music! I forbid! Skunk Creek needs culture the way a thirsty man needs water, the way the flowers need sun, the way the weary need rest. The opera else was an opera and only opera. <laughs> Each with two heads, no doubt. No. Oh. Like Harry Arnold's here from house. Zaza, Lulu. Mimi. Tonka, Kiki. <laughs> this is more like it. But still, it's not grand opera. One, two, oh. three, four, five. Only five? I hired six girls. Well, Christine is the sixth girl. Christine, hurry up. We're waiting, Christine. Christine! Christine! Here I am. Oh. <laughs> At least she's a beauty, but can she sing? Ooh. These young ladies, I presume, are the chorus? That's what I'm paying them 
them for. Christine is only in the course temporarily. In no time at all, she'll rise to the top like cream in a bottle of milk. Or a bubble in a swamp. Who oh, is she? My mommy! Being properly brought up, I never travel without my mommy. Christine should totally be the star attraction. Audiences just love Christine. Better than that tired old Carlotta Barracuda. Ooh. Carlotta Barracuda has a rich voice. Then she should retire it. <laughs> <laughs> Carlotta Barracuda? Is it possible? Have you hired La Barracuda? It's possible, and I've hired her. Don't worry about a thing, Carlotta. If your dressing room is dingy, I'll see that it's repainted. Trust me. Another member of the chorus. I heard that. What big ears you have. Oh, this is the mother of Carlotta Barracuda. Oh. Forgive me, madame. If I had known your daughter was to be performing, I would have prepared a reception. Think of it. A great operatic star here in Skunk Creek. Christine sings totally better than Carlotta. Yeah. I want her fire. Yes. Uh, who are you? I am Silky Acid Top, uh, music critic. Uh, that voice, I know it's anywhere. It's Carlotta. That's for sure. La Barracuda, I kneel in homage to your talent. Oh. 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 Of course. Oh, naturally. I'd better check it out. It may not be suitable. La Barracuda, you have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. There'll be no opera tonight. No, no opera? Not unless it's called El Cheapo. What do you mean, no opera? La Barracuda is an opera star. That woman is putting on a little music for a little show with a man who's made of elastic on a woman who walks up and down stairs on her head. Imagine a woman who walks on her head. Oh, wherever you are, what are you doing? Just doing my job. Oh. That's her free rain rider. He's the rat catcher. Rat catcher! Rat -catcher. Oh. Boy, you sure know how to empty the house, Humphrey. I didn't know the opera house can complete the rat catcher. Help me down. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Laces for the rats and other things. There are hidden passageways and secret rooms and corridors bricked up. Even I don't know how many rooms there are. Down, down, down below. Oh, <laughs> you have a weird sense of humor, rat catcher. But you can't frighten me. There's no chance with the opera house either. Everything is perfectly normal. <laughs> oh. Look. Oh. Oh. Who is it? Oh, it's Joseph. Joseph? One of the stagehands. Oh. Well, what do you think's wrong with them? Let me check. Oh. oh. Oh, I know what's wrong with him. <laughs> He's dead. Dead? Look, there's a rope around his neck. He's been strangled. <laughs> oh, who could have done such a thing? The Phantom. Get the sheriff. He's out of town. Get your new hamster. He could be governor one day. Oh, never mind about that. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, Chester. 
Yes, ma'am? Not a word of this to anybody. I opened the season tonight. Dead stage hand or no dead stage hand? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Have you ever seen this phantom? Yeah. I've heard him playing the organ, too. Well, what did he look like? Sometimes he wears a cape. And sometimes he wears a hood over his head. His eyes are like ghastly beads. Like holes in a grinning skull. Oh. His face is like parchment. The skin is strung tight over protruding bones. His jaw comes to a point. His teeth are sharp and his lips are thin. Of course, I didn't get a very good look. Oh. No one in the cast to know about Joseph. Remove the body. Oh. <laughs> well, better a rat catcher than a rat. True. <gasps> Good news, girls. Oh. After the show this evening, there's going to be a cast party oh. to celebrate the new season of the Opry House. Oh. Be like a costume party. I love costume parties. What oh. fun! Oh. I told Member Kuda for guests that she wanted me hired. Oh, uh, what you said was true. Christine does sing better than Carwata. Uh. I was just like frightened of you, Christine. She's jealous. She'll try to get you fired. Wait and see. Mm -hmm. Carlotta would never do a thing like that to a fellow mm -hmm. artist. Christine, you are too good to be true. Oh. I know. Come on, girls. The dressing room is this way. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Barracks bag? Barracuda, Fairly? Not Barracks bag? 
I'm sorry. Lieutenant, when one is as handsome as you are, there is never a need for apology. Careful, Fairly. She's flirting. I appreciate the fact you're flirting with me, Miss Barracuda. Men flirt with me! But the truth is, I only have eyes for Christine Swan song. Well, in that case, you have poor eyesight and poor ears. She sings like a duck. She sings beautifully. Much better than you. Everyone says so. Oh! Dora! Coming, Miss Barracuda! You're nothing but a stage door Johnny. Stage door fairly. At your service, ma'am. And as for you, Christine. Yes, Miss Barracuda? You have made an enemy of me. Stay out of my way. Ah. Or else. <laughs> She's got some temper. It's not temper, Fairly. It's temperament. All great artists have temperament. Well, you don't have any. I wish you hadn't said that. You'd think a great opera star would quit when she found out there wasn't going to be an opera, but now the Barracuda, oh no, not her. As long as she gets paid on time, she can go to one You're implying that Carlotta sings only for money. Why else would anyone sing? For art. Art who? Dora. <laughs> Come in, Spira. Kuda. Allow me to assist you with that luggage, Dora. <laughs> there you go. Gee, thanks. No problem. I'm on the bill of fire tonight. A one-man band? I call myself a walking symphony. Golly. Not only am I a walking symphony, but I can sing backwards. Imagine! Sing backwards? Watch. Can I call anything this long? Christine, that was something. Oh, where my I acting one night? It shows. I better rest up before the performance. I burn up a lot of energy. Do you know where my dressing room is? The stage manager has his office back there. He assigned the dressing rooms. Just listen for someone shouting, five minutes! Much of us. My goodness! This paramount has spared no expense. Making tonight a gift! Christine, did you mean what you said earlier? About what, Fairly? About working for art instead of money. Fairly, music is my life. I must sing and sing and sing again. I want to take music to the world. Fly who's alive with the sound of small by the waterfall. Alas, I am torn two ways. My love for music and my love for you. Then you do love me, Christine. Well, speak of this another time. Oh, Fairly, if only I could take Carlotta's place. If only for one night, I could show the world that I have talent. I would give anything for that. But you said yourself, Carlotta never misses a performance. That is true. Unfortunate, but true. We'd better get your things from the Teamsters wagon, dear. Yes, Mommy. Allow me to assist you, ma'am. Fairly? You? Here? Well, I wrote you I'd be here. Oh, that's right. You did. I forgot.
over with a rope around his neck, his tongue hanging out like a dirty old necktie. I'll have to question everyone in the Opry house. Oh, that's exactly what you will not do. I must think of company morale. Where's the stick? Oh, you mean the stagehand? If he's the deceased. I had the rat catcher remove the body. Oh, shouldn't have done that. He might have disturbed important evidence. I have an opening tonight, Junior. Nothing must go wrong. Do you understand me? Nothing. Do you think the phantom will strike again? I don't believe in this nonsense about a phantom. Someone strangled Joseph, but it wasn't a ghost. I'll keep my eyes open. Bad publicity is bad business. I'm counting on you, Junior. Remember this. Without the Opry House, Skunk Creek is only Skunk Creek. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. But I still have to see the body. Right. We'll have to find Humphrey. Five minutes! What was that? Oh, 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 it's another one. Oh. Who is it this time? It's the prop man. The prop man? Patty. Patty who? Patty O Furniture. Oh. Stagehand and now prop man. Never you fear, oh. Miss Panther Mouse. I'm on the scent, like a bloodhound. Oh, please don't mention blood. Oh. What do you want us to do with the body? Well, he was a prop man, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Put him in the prop room. Give me that hand. I'll prop give you room. two. Right. Oh, oh, I'll get to man. the bottom of this. Oh, oh phantom. Man.
yet. You're no doctor? No, but I stayed at the Holly Inn Express last night. Oh, the very nice hotel! It's murder. Oh. The Opry House will be cursed. Who are you? Who am I? Need you ask? I am! The Phantom of the Opry! Miss Barrett. 
Thank you, but I won't need it. Oh, it's a miracle! You, I'll speak to you later. Oh. I appreciate you offering your assistance, Lieutenant. A military mind is always useful. We'll catch us a fan of the Opry. Oh, you'll never play with heaven! The Elastic Man Snap? Oh, the Walking Symphony Trip? What? Oh, no, 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 Carlotta! Oh, she's dead. She's alive! What? In there! I don't believe it. Oh. Huh. Well, I believe it. Me too. Out of my way! Oh. Show some respect to stage, Mother. They thought they would stop my daughter from singing. Never. It'll take more than poison to shackle Barracuda. Besides, she's got a stomach like a lead sink. What up, Chuck and choose back to her old self? Ew. Dora, the costume. Come in, Miss Barracuda. If Love Barracuda sings, the fan will strike again. Oh, do something, Junior. I am thinking, I'm thinking, oh. I'm thinking. Oh. Five minutes. Oh, there are a million places the fans are my hide. Five minutes. Let's ladies. check the catwalks. Oh, the catwalks. Up by the chandelier. Excellent idea. Five minutes. Five minutes. Solve the mystery. I could be governor one day. One day would probably be enough. Oh, come on. <laughs> The wretched La Barracuda always has a cup before performance. You. You. Ha! 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 Christine. Who? What? Where? You mustn't be afraid of me. Say you won't be afraid of me. You won't be afraid of me? <laughs> no, you got it wrong. Try again, say. I won't be afraid of you. I won't be afraid of you. That's better. I warn you, do not scream out. Uh, uh, uh. I heard what you said earlier. Music, music, music. What else is there but music? I share your passion. We are one. Destiny has brought us together. I have fallen madly in love with you. I have given you my heart. Oh. Yes, you are going to be a very great star, Christine. But if you speak to the soldier boy again, do! Oh. Soon all the citizens of Skunk Creek will be at your feet. I'd rather have them seated in chairs. You are doubly fortunate, Angelique. Oh. Never touch my mask! You are in no danger if you never touch my mask! Don't touch the mask! <laughs> Understand me, Christine? The mask is a no-no! <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. Good. Remember my words. I will be watching. There's a gray shadow chasing me. Where? I feel it. Oh. It's all hunched over, dragging its knuckles on the floor. Ugh. They say La Barracuda is going to sing Gusto. No, she's going to sing alone. But I tell you, something terrible is going to happen. 
He just said it. Excuse me? Why? What did you do? If I had any sense, I'd throw in a towel. Why don't you? It's too dirty. Hmm. Don't blame me. I didn't write this stuff. <laughs> Phantom? The key has to be here somewhere. Like this phantom. What does he look like? Who will you be? Salami Dibble. Salami? If you're a performer looking for appointment, you couldn't have come in a worse time. Mm -hmm. How did you get backstage? I walked in. Oh. The Opry House needs a security guard. Oh, that's what you're paying for, isn't it? Perhaps this oh. will explain. I received this postcard in the mail. Let's have a look. Right, he looks like it was written chicken scratch from Aroma, Arizona. Having bad, wonderful time. Wish you were here. He, he, he. Notice the signature. Ick. No, Eric. His penmanship is always the worst. What's this got to do with anything, Ms. Dibble? Eric is my brother. It's not his fault that he's a lunatic. Huh? Music was all he ever wanted. Finally, he got a job with an opera touring company. He was to see an ill fiasco. So? His performance was a fiasco. A local music critic by the name of Acid Tongue said my brother couldn't carry a tune if it had a handle. That's Acid Tongue. Wait, if your brother performed here, there'll be a record of it. The Opry House Log. Good thank you. Huh. El Fiasco. Fairly! Christine! <laughs> Christine, wait! Open and not jitters, I reckon. Here it is. El Fiasco. Well, that was years ago, long before Minerva Hotchkiss. Tonight's performance was a disaster. Our newly hired baritone, Eric Dibble, was El Cinco. At the dismal curtain call, he sang his one song over and over again. He said the song haunted him. Then someone in the audience yelled out, no wonder you murdered it. And then it went screaming into the night like a man been mad by a scorpion. That's the last I ever heard from Eric until that cheap postcard. Then Eric is the phantom. He's our man. No doubt about it. He hasn't been up to any mischief. Has he? Oh. There's your answer. Oh, oh, oh! Calm yourself, Guppy. It's, it's, it's what? It's Humphrey. He's a dipsy. Oh. Oh. oh, oh! More of the Phantom's oh. dirty work. Oh, that's gross. What are we gonna oh, do? Oh, uh, Frank, Frank! Oh man! Put him in the pop room. Uh, Five minutes. Oh, that's disgusting. Kurt going up. Curtain oh. up. Five minutes. Oh. Oh. Overture. Overture.
When I was a lad, I was gloomy and sad as I was from the day I was born. When other babes giggled and gurgled and wiggled, I probably was Ellie forlorn. My friends and my family looked at me clamorly, thought there was something amiss. When others found various antics hilarious, all I could manage was this. Notice, notice, ah, notice, ah, ah, ah. My father, he shouted, he needs to be glad at his teeth that are wreathed on hand him. My mother, she cried, as she rushed to my side, he rebuked that he don't understand him. So I sent for a witch with a terrible twitch to ask her my future and pest her. She's going to get me. And cried, yeah, <laughs> See what dwells beneath the Opry House. Now you shall see my world. No, Phantom, I don't want to see your world. Tough. Let me go. Never. You are mine. You're mad. I'm not mad. But if you don't cooperate, I will be very irritated.
darn frats. <laughs> Can't hear myself think with you squawking in this record playing. Stop the music! <laughs> Did you know this used to be a military installation? Yes, it's true. First it was a fort, then a prison, then an arsenal. There's miles of tunnels and passageways. There's even a smelly swamp. Welcome to your kingdom, my Christine, my songbird, my pale canary. None of that. Who, who are you? It's not important. Let me see your face. I warned you about that. You will sing for me now. I'm not in the mood. Get in the mood! Sing, Christine! Be my songbird, sing! Keep hearing organ music. A record player. He's a twisting genius. Why are you holding your arm like that? This way, the phantom won't be able to throw a rope around my neck. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh. <laughs> this wrong song. Christine! Christine! Oh, she's gotta be down here somewhere. We may never find her. We've got to find her. Uh, can't say much for the Phantom's taste in music. Real square. Uh, keep searching. Swear that you will love me. Or else. Or else what, Phantom? You shall see. This is... Yes, it's a small black box. Ah, but this is a special small black box. What's so special about it? This box is fitted with buttons. Wonderful buttons that can do wonderful things. Watch! Lieutenant? What is it, Junior? These passageways block. So it is. Aww. No doubt some of the Phantom's dirty work. We'll go this way. That's what you think, little Napoleon. Rats! <gasps> where? Where? <laughs> I mean, we're trapped. Oh. What are you going to do now, Phantom? Patience. It's getting so hot in here. I can hardly breathe. Water! Lemonade! Lemonade! Water! Look, oh, my songbird, look! They're melting! <laughs> Stop it, Phantom! I beg you! Freedom! Swear 
that you will love me. Swear that you will live down here in these dirty, dusty, dingy passageways forever. That's asking a lot. Perhaps more persuasion will convince you. Enough of the hate treatment. Ugh. We're saved. What a relief. I shall now drain the room of oxygen. Enough! <laughs> Sing at the Opry House tomorrow night. After that, my world is your world. Uh huh. Don't think you can escape me. Impossible. And if you speak to the toy soldier, he dies. You know I will keep my word. I know. I know. Come. I will show you a passageway that leads to the stage. Lead on, Phantom. I follow. What you can't squid. Oh, yes, I can. That fan person was in my dressing room like, like a table of hyena. You know, I could be a dead symphony. Oh, 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 gosh. What are we oh. going to do now, Mr. Jingle Don't tell me what the phantom will do next. You should see oh. the prop realm. The show must go on. More bad news, Miss Pamper Mouse. Oh. The human tripod, say you're eating Mendes, and the elastic skin man. All right, you quit. No! Yes. I'm leaving the show, too. The fans want me to get out of town, and I don't need a second war. No one leaves this opera house till we get to the bottom of this. What have you discovered? Absolutely nothing. Oh. <coughs> Christine! Oh, Your man. Your mother says that kidnapped you. Yeah, like, how'd you escape? The Christine. My Christine. Yeah. She not only has the voice of a bird, she has the brain of a bird. I gave you my notice, Miss Pamper Mouse. I wouldn't sing in this place again if you paid me an oil stock. <gasps> Fairly, what have I done? He may be watching. Who? Who else? The Phantom. <gasps> he made me promise never to speak to Fairly again. If I did. What? Do. <gasps> A tin stall. Add your army saver. Let's get him. Oh, 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 o
the same. I did it all for you, La Barracuda. An opera house must present opera. Great art. Those circus sideshow acts insulted your presence. I cut you down. I'm not an insensitive man. So you didn't hang the rat catcher? I'm a music critic, not a murderer. And I didn't crash that chandelier either. Oh, this means the real phantom is still loose. Oh. The Opry House is yours, Christine. You're welcome to it. Congratulations. <laughs> Dora, the luggage. Coming for Sarah. Coda. Oh, gosh. We're going to be the only ones left. have to stay calm. Right. Yeah. Wait a minute. But where's my brother? Hi! See what I'm holding. It's a hand grenade. Right you are! Powerful enough to blow up this Opry house. And everyone in it! Too late, Christine. You broke your promise. Now I'll bite the pain, and then it's over. Cut! <laughs> to this! It's stuck! Yeah. My hero! It's all over, Phantom. She was beginning to get on my nerves anyway. Uh -huh. Get off of me! No one can hold the phantom! Wait, where are you taking my brother? To the prop room. Hey, prop room. That's what you think! Oh, the oh, no. Do I get my three dollars? I'll throw you up a new contract at once, Miss Swanson! But, but... You have your career, Christine, and you have me. I 